This is Rummy's Corner. Rummy's Corner. On June 9th, 1978, WBC heavyweight world champion Ken Norton squared off against undefeated challenger Larry Holmes. Norton had been presented with the WBC belt on March 28th of that year, based on his 15-round split decision victory against Jimmy Young the previous November. But Norton never actually won his title inside the ring. Norton was given the belt after champion Leon Spinks had decided to give Muhammad Ali a return bout rather than face his WBC number one mandatory. Norton was the favorite going in against Holmes, who was far less experienced at the championship level. But many observers believed the Eastern Assassin had the talent to dethrone the champ. Moments before the action was about to get underway, the two fighters marched towards each other, butting heads and gently shoving the other back for space as referee Mills Lane was providing his pre-fight instructions. The champion refused making eye contact as the challenger intensely stared forward. The two combatants came out for the opening round quickly, but cautiously. Holmes started looking to establish his jab and Norton was doing a lot of bobbing and weaving and pressing forward. Both fighters were looking to jab early on and Holmes was winning the battle of the jabs. He was throwing more jabs, and he was landing the snappier jabs. Norton was doing his best to create a moving target, and he was sometimes launching forward with a quick attack. But Holmes's jab was controlling the action. As the round was drawing near an end, the two boxers had some intense exchanges as they were firing back and forth with impressive hand speed. The Eastern Assassin was throwing more in these moments, but Norton was doing a good job making Holmes miss. In the closing seconds of the round, Holmes landed a nice right hand that seemed to catch the champion off guard. To start the second, Holmes continued being the more active fighter as he began firing away with his jab. Norton was starting to have a little more success with his own jab, but Larry was snapping his out far more frequently, and he was doing a better job keeping the action at his preferred distance. As the round progressed, Holmes started opening up a little more with some short, fast combinations, and it just looked like the champion was having difficulty coping with the hand speed. As the round neared its conclusion, Holmes was beginning to find the mark more effectively with his right hand. Holmes came out for the third, firing off his jab, and Norton seemed to be incorporating more upper body movement as he continued looking to close the distance. But Holmes was able to keep Norton at the end of his jab, with Norton occasionally firing back with his own, and at one point, he landed a series of flush jabs that seemed to embolden him somewhat. Holmes had controlled most of the action with his jab, but Norton was beginning to fight more, and he was starting to find ways to disrupt Larry's rhythm as the round came to a close. The action resumed where it had left off, with both guys firing jabs and Holmes throwing and landing more often. Norton did manage to land a big left hook, which was his best punch to this point, but Larry seemed to take it well and resumed jabbing the champion from his preferred range. Holmes opened up and landed a three-punch combination that seemed to get Norton's attention, and Larry followed this up with some nice right hands, including a really nice counter over one of Norton's jabs. But Norton took them well, and he continued pressing forward. Larry was still utilizing an effective jab, and Ken was trying to muscle his way inside with little success. Holmes started the fifth with a familiar trend as he was firing off jabs and Norton was trying to press forward. Suddenly, Norton managed to clip the challenger with a sharp right hand. Holmes took the shot extremely well though, and he did not appear to be visibly shaken. Some fireworks erupted shortly after, 
with both boxers swinging away and landing a fair share of flush shots. It was some good action that was punctuated by a nice flurry from the Easton assassin. The two then traded hard jabs, and Norton was starting to really snap his own jab out along with Larry's. Sensing that the champion was on to his tactics, Holmes changed things up, and he started bouncing around a little more and utilizing the ring space. This effectively neutralized Norton's attacks, and the round came to a close. Round six started with Holmes retaking control of the action with his jab, where the trend from the earlier rounds had returned. Holmes was mostly keeping Norton at the end of his jab, but the champion did land another booming right that Holmes took well. Not long after that, Larry was once again bouncing around and using more movement as he was firing off the jab while on the move from range. It was a good competitive round where Holmes did more work, but the champion landed the hardest punch in the round. They both continued trading jabs in round seven, and Holmes was a little bit more active with his jab, but they were both landing effectively when jabbing. Midway through the round, Holmes once again started using movement and firing off his jabs from a distance, which seemed to neutralize Norton whenever he utilized these tactics. With Holmes on the move, Norton was having all sorts of problems getting his punches off, but whenever Larry stopped moving and bouncing, Norton was able to create openings and land cleanly. Early in the eighth, the Easton assassin unloaded with a flurry of right hands that found their mark. Norton took them all well, and they proceeded to exchange jabs. Norton started doing a better job closing the gap, and he was landing some nice shots. This started turning into a very good round for the champion, who was pressing the action and landing more frequently. He seized control of the momentum after getting tagged earlier in the round, and this prompted Holmes to resume using the type of movement that best neutralized the champ. But when Larry went back into the pocket, once again, Norton created openings, and the two had a long, grueling battle to end what was an already brutal round. Norton and Holmes once again came out trading jabs to begin the ninth. It was growing into a tactical affair where Norton was having more success on offense. This round had some great back and forth action where both fighters were doing some good work. Holmes was often the more active fighter, but the champion landed some crushing shots, including a big right hand that rocked the challenger. The heart and determination of both combatants was on full display as they both continued intelligently battling it out as the ninth round drew to a close. The tactical affair continued in round 10, with both men again trading jabs. It turned into another close and competitive round, but as the round progressed, Holmes seemed to rediscover his groove, and he started fighting a little more effectively. Norton was still landing some good shots here and there, but he wasn't able to continue his attacks as long as he had been in other recent rounds. The action had sizzled down a bit, but it remained a high intensity atmosphere. Norton was pressing the action more in round 11, but he was having difficulty firing off shots as the challenger was using good movement while throwing some light jabs as he postured defensively. The champion did manage to get some well-timed shots through, but for the most part, Norton was not effectively closing the gap. But it was a good round for the champion, and he landed the more telling shots in the 11th. Things got underway with Holmes and Norton again trading jabs, and the champion resumed pressing the action. It was another good round for Ken, as he was landing the harder, cleaner punches, and he was beginning to land them with more regularity. Holmes was still jabbing well, and he was sometimes opening up with some nice combinations, 
but the champion seemed to be consistently doing the better work. When the bell sounded to start the 13th, it was the first time Holmes had gone more than 12, but Norton had gone the full 15 on two previous occasions. So this was uncharted waters for the Eastern Assassin. But Holmes started snapping his jab out with more authority this round, and he was fighting more effectively on offense than he had been in some time. Holmes also tightened his defense up a bit, and suddenly, Norton was having all types of difficulties like he was having earlier in the bout. Holmes was fighting with a high level of intensity, and he was making the champion very uncomfortable. It was a terrific round for the Eastern Assassin, who was really putting his punches together well. The champion battled on, but Holmes was landing all kinds of big shots, one after another, and he appeared to stagger the champion a few times in the process. It was a prolonged spirited attack from Holmes, and he had firmly taken command of the momentum. Both boxers looked tired to start the 14th, but Holmes took the initiative and he was firing the jab. But then Norton started firing off his own jab, and he was trying his best to press the action. This turned into a fiercely competitive round that saw both warriors visibly fatigued, but digging down deep and using every fiber of effort they could find from within. As the round was drawing near an end, Norton unleashed a vicious attack that seemed to have the challenger hurt. Norton pinned Holmes in the corner, and he was firing away before Larry offered some return fire of his own. Norton then launched another strong attack, and when Holmes finally worked his way out of that corner, the round had come to a close. The atmosphere to start the 15th and final round was nothing short of electric. Both fighters came out with a strong sense of urgency, sensing that things were in the balance, and the result was some crowd-pleasing, back-and-forth, grueling action that saw both combatants consistently landing flush, hard shots. There were several mini shifts of momentum in round 15, and the rhythm was nothing short of explosive. With the championship on the line, Ken Norton and Larry Holmes were putting on an absolute showcase of courage and determination as they battled it out in style to close out what was an already exceptional contest. The exchanges grew more and more violent, and it looked as if either man could drop at any second. But amazingly, they were both absorbing tremendous punishment as they continued giving it all they had. This back and forth brawling went on until the very end of this 15 round classic. It was an absolutely amazing final round in an absolutely amazing fight. When the official scorecards were announced, it was a split decision with official scores of 143 to 142 for Norton, overruled by the other two judges who both scored the bout 143 to 142 for Holmes. The Eastern Assassin, Larry Holmes, had just become the new WBC heavyweight champion of the world. It was an absolutely epic encounter that remains one of the most celebrated 15 round heavyweight championship contests of all time. Following the match, Ken Norton went on to have five more fights before retiring, winning two, losing two, and drawing once. Meanwhile, for Larry Holmes, this was the beginning of a long and illustrious championship journey that would see Holmes rack up a tally of 20 consecutive title defenses. To this day, with all the ABC belts currently in circulation, this remains the second longest streak of consecutive title defenses in the rich history of boxing. Only Joe Lewis had more with 25. 
This is Rummy's Corner. Thanks for watching, and please stay tuned for more classic fight recaps in the future. Thank you very much, and have a good night.